Here with Casey Klinger, uh, tough race out there. Talk about it, what it was like running up there when you saw those three guys go to the front and you kind of leading that chase pack. Um, yeah, they went out hard and kind of learned my lesson from last time I ran here that uh, being patient and usually ends up with a better result. Um, but they, were, they stuck it strong and they had a great race. And yeah, I was just trying to battle with that second uh, chase pack to get as low as points as possible for my team. What was your strategy as a team? You guys have a unique where, you know, you didn't run at Nutty, Nutty Combs, so there's kind of like an unknown of when you add you into the mix with the rest of your guys. What was the team strategy going in? Team strategy was to get out in front of the blob of people and try to be, you know, work your way up into where you want to be by 5K and just hold that line and pass as many bodies the last few K that you could. And so I thought our guys did really well today. We didn't have our best day, but it's nice to be back on the podium for sure. Were you aware of how close the score was after every K? Yeah, our coaches were yelling out where we were at. At one point, I think we were behind five points behind uh, first, which was Oklahoma at the time. So, uh, yeah, I was somewhat aware. What do you do with when you get that information, when you realize, oh, all right, all right, It's motivating, know. for sure. Yeah, the last, it helped me really battle that last 2K, knowing that uh, we were up against OSU. Um, and NAU trying to get that first place spot. So it gave me a lot of motivation for sure. Seventh place, how did you feel about your individual placing? Um, it's nice to be in the top 10 with just how deep the NCAA is. Uh, I wanted to, uh, my goal is to be top three, possibly win it today, but um, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with seventh, especially with some adversity going through this season. And, um, I'm looking forward to track season for sure. What was the just, adversity? I had a little bit of a hiccup with my hip. That's why I wasn't at Wisco, but uh, luckily my coach and our trainers helped me get through it pretty quick, and it didn't uh, wasn't too too much time off. This year of BYU has had a lot of new faces. You got the Thompson brothers, Joey Noakes coming out of the woodwork. What's been like the key to success for these new faces to uh, excel well here at BYU? Um, the, our big theme this year has been trust, trusting in your training, trusting in each other that we can do what we do in training, and. Uh, they've de our guys have definitely um, implemented that. Our young guys, the Thompson twins, Joey Noakes, uh, they've really uh, just gotten really fit this year and really believed in the process. And I think uh, that's really what's helped them uh, excel to this point for sure. What's the season been like without having Connor Mance on the roster with you guys? Uh, he's working out with us all the time still. So, it's, I mean, it's definitely different not having him in the race, knowing that we'll definitely have a top guy every single race. But um, I think our, we've had a little bit of culture shift in like the way we do things in workouts um, without him, and um, I think we've adapted pretty well to it. Are you gonna be going to BU for December to run a 5K? That's the plan. Yeah, gotta use this fitness while you can, right? Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.